Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. I'm going to make a quick video for you today on probing for gravel. Um, I released a video recently and I'll put a link to it across the top of the screen on whichever side that is, I can never remember. Anyhow, so uh, you see my gravel probe in this other video and you've probably seen it in a couple of other videos if you've done much studying at all. Normally when you come out here, you're going to look for gravel to run. You can get it off the surface, but there's also some gravel beneath the surface and there's a way you have to find it. You don't just go out here and just dig at random because you're going to waste a whole lot of time shoveling dirt that you don't need to shovel. So if you can get your hands on a probe, um, that's one of the things that's kind of a tool you can use in your arsenal for finding some of that gravel. But you don't just go out and stick it in the ground just at random. You want to, you know, you want to learn to use one and learn to feel how that gravel feels. And you can also kind of listen for it. And what I'll do is that I think there's a little bit of gravel right here where I'm standing. So uh, I'm going to bring you in close and maybe get the camera close enough that you can actually hear this probe as it's hitting the gravel. Now, if you haven't seen this other video, this probe is about a six foot probe. Um, got a welded on handle up here and it's actually got a head welded on the bottom side of it. So it's a little bit wider. There's a couple of tricks to using one of these that can help you out. Um, if you go and have one made, try and have them make it out of stainless steel. It's a lot slicker of metal and uh, it's pretty, uh, holds up pretty well to the abuse out here. So, uh, got some gravel right there. So you can see that's a six foot probe, so that's about four and a half foot deep gravel. It's not a very deep seam. It's not a very thick seam of it. And there might be a little bit more gravel further on down. You can see that's sinking in pretty easy. I've kind of chose a wet spot here in the ground that I can probe into easily. So uh, I'm gonna pull this thing out get you guys a little bit closer and see if I can get it to where you can hear the gravel hitting the tip of this probe. All right, get my probe here. See right there in the ground. You can hear a little bit of gravel right there. So that was the first little bit of gravel, but this next bit down, you can hear it right there. That sound is a good sound. So that is a pretty good seam right there. A lot of good gravel right there. If I were in the digging mood today and it wasn't 100 degrees, I would probably dig a hole right there because that's shallow enough guy could reach it in a day. So when you're out here probing, if you've got a probe, you know, your probe is kind of, the length of your probe is equivalent to the depth that you're going to dig. So that's also equivalent to the amount of time you're going to spend digging that hole. The deeper you go, the more dirt you got to move, the more time it takes to take it out and put it back. You got to fill your hole in by the end of the day. So that's uh, kind of double the work to get your gravel. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, a little trick to probing. If you're out here, take you a little bit of water. Now you can tell there's a little bit of water already in that hole because of the mud on that probe. But if you're out here probing and it's dry, you can sink a hole like that. Pour a little bit of water in there. That kind of lubricates that hole a little bit and makes that probe slide easier. be a little more gravel down deep right there by the way for the sake of this video on probe and gravel if you're
trying to decide where you want to dig, this can definitely help you because this tells you where the gravel is. If you pay attention as your probe is passing through it, it'll tell you how thick that seam of gravel is. If it's only an inch thick and you have to dig six feet to get to it, that's a lot of work for a little bit of gravel. Now it could be really good gravel. It could have a lot of diamonds in it. You really don't know until you've run it. But this bit of gravel I've found right here from the from the beginning of when the probe hits the gravel so right there I'm already about an inch into it and it just keeps passing through that's about right there's about the end of it I can feel it on the head of that probe when I pull it back up a little bit right there so there's about five inches of gravel thickness wise and then another thing you can do is just kind of probe the general area and see how wide there's more of the gravel right there. That's two or three feet away. Go over here a little bit. Mm. And that has probably been, been dug out right there. I didn't feel it at all. Bit of gravel right there and that's actually shallow. So that may be something else. Some deeper gravel right there. All right, so if you're going to go out here and dig a hole, you want to know exactly what is down below before you start digging into it. So that way you kind of know if it's worth your time getting into it, how much is going to be there to work, how much time you need to plan on digging, and then again refilling your hole, how many buckets you think you might get. Uh, it adds up pretty quick so hopefully this helps a little bit if you haven't seen my other video where i introduced my uh, gravel probe go ahead and check it out uh, i've also got another video where i've actually dug a hole and got some material out of it so you can kind of get an idea of what digging a hole looks like out here been a while back it's not too far from where i'm at right now and as far as where i am on the search field so uh, anyhow uh, if you like what you've seen like and subscribe and uh, appreciate you watching